past, we all have one. It follows us everywhere we go. It has an ability to control us. It shapes who we are. It impacts what we become. It influences the decisions we make, the risks we take. And it's filled with memories, some we are proud of, and some we wish we could forget. It has a unique ability, though, to creep up on us. And no matter how far back, it can come alive in our minds and our hearts as though it was only yesterday. The past, we underestimate its power. Some days, it sits so quietly in a corner that we forget that it's there. But on other days, the not so good days, it screams at us, it hurls abuse at us, it mocks us, it ridicules us. The past is a mental prison, an emotional cage, a psychological dungeon. I've heard it said that the word past is an acronym for its devastating effects because the past, it paralyzes us, stops us moving forward. It aborts our gifts, our talents, our abilities. It subjugates us through domination, through control, and it torments us day after day. Imagine though, being able to break free from your past. Imagine no longer crawling through life as a victim, but walking in victory. What if I told you that you no longer need to imagine because on this day, at this moment, you can choose to walk in total freedom and liberty. You see, my past once paralyzed me. It was aborting my gifts and talents. It was subjugating me and it was tormenting me continuously until the day that I committed my life to Jesus Christ and he became my Lord and Savior. The Bible says that he who the Son sets free is free indeed and goes on to speak about where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. You can choose on this day to walk in true freedom. You can choose on this day to follow Jesus Christ because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You can choose on this day to see great breakthrough and the chains of your past broken forever. You can choose on this day to no longer be a slave, but be free. The answers for all you need are found in Jesus Christ. So, over to you. Whoever you are, wherever you are, how will you choose? You can make a choice right now to stop watching this, switch off, get back to what you are doing, and allow your past to continue to paralyze you and abort your gifts, to continue to subjugate you and torment you. Or you can choose at this moment to commit your life to Jesus Christ and be free, and I mean truly free. If you are ready to make that commitment, I am ready to lead you in a prayer this very moment. So right where you are, if you would close your eyes and repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I come to you and I ask for forgiveness of my sins. I am sorry that I have broken your holy laws. I have shunned your glory and I have rejected your love so many times. Forgive me, Lord, I am sorry. I declare with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and Saviour. I confess that Jesus Christ died on a cross at Calvary where his blood was shed and his body was broken for the forgiveness of my sins. I confess that on the third day he rose again and I confess that he will come back one day. Father God, I ask right now in the name of Jesus, that Jesus, you would be the Lord and Savior of my life. I commit my life to you right now. I surrender to myself to you right now. 
here I am. Father God, I thank you that I am forgiven. I thank you that on this day that I have been set free from my past. And I thank you on this day that I can walk in victory. I ask that the Holy Spirit would fill me and empower me. And I thank you that I have been cleansed white as snow by the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have just prayed that prayer, welcome to the family of God. You are now walking in freedom and your life will change in ways that you could not ever imagine. We would love to be able to join you on this journey as you encounter God in the most magnificent and beautiful ways. So please drop us a line, contact us on the details to follow, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless you, and once again, welcome to the family of God.